Hello to everybody once again. Uh, Future Trend Channel is back uh, to you with our analysis of Eurocrosses for the date of 9 of July 2018. Why we decided to concentrate your attention on the Eurocrosses uh, beginning of this week? We suggest uh, that probably uh, the euro currency is at the moment at, it's, uh, at the turnaround kind of point, and that means that probably we are at the beginning of a counter trend. Uh, counter trend against uh, the underlying uh, bearish trend of the uh, euro currency and from that point of view we'd like to pay your attention that for example the euro yen made uh, as we suggest an important uh, penetration an important break breaking above its current uptrend line uh, excuse me downtrend line the downtrend of uh, 2018 and uh, that means that probably uh, the euro yen could receive a kind of additional boost in the coming uh, uh, trading hours in the coming uh, trading sessions of course uh, we should uh, we should uh, pay uh, attention we should also see to uh, to supervise uh, let's say so the moving average uh, 200 daily line that's located around 131 94 at the moment from technical point of view while trading below this line probably the euro yen should remain under the downside pressure and anyway now we suggest to use any kind of opportunity of falling below 128.50 to buy the currency with the stop below 128 why below 128 because uh, 128 is a current uh, mm, is the current uptrend in the currency let's see uh, the now a chart and where you could see that 128 is a location of uh, the current uptrend in the currency the uptrend of 2018 that was drawn from the lows of may registered uh, below 120 or um, re registered below 125 as regarding other euro crosses, the euro sterling uh, still remains uh, quite uh, stable around 0.8850, um, and uh, we still keep our long trade recommendation. Of course, we don't see uh, any kind of continuation of our uh, point of view. Uh, we, as as you know, some time ago we uh, decided to buy uh, the currency let's see our analysis we have a long at average 88625 and we put a stop to below uh, 0 0.8795 at the moment quite loss and we still suggest uh, that uh, euro sterling has everything in its arms to uh, continue its current uh, upsurge and uh, from uh, that point of view probably the next level to watch we should uh, only see on the daily chart i would suggest uh, that in the short to medium term run uh, sooner or later the euro sterling should uh, retest uh, the levels above 0.90 uh, of course uh, here lies a kind of a stronger uh, resistance uh, but anyway uh, we suggest that current closing above moving average 200 daily line uh, that at the moment located around 0.8820 should sooner or later take the currency much higher. Euro Swiss, uh, we suggest still to keep our uh, strategy uh, to sell the pair around 11640 with a very close stop above 11670. You will ask us why we decide to do so on the daily chart. You could see that uh, first of all, one sixteen and a half is uh, a rather strong uh, resistance at the moment, but also here lies moving coverage two hundred daily line at one sixteen sixty nine. Uh, we will use an opportunity to sell the pair around one sixteen forty uh, with a stop above moving coverage two hundred daily line. Here you could see that this is uh, this kind of suggestion at uh, this kind of advice is basing only on technical factors and finally some words about uh, euro ruble in 10 minutes uh, official russian financial markets will be open 
uh, we still suggest that uh, uh, the ruble against uh, the United States dollar should remain um, should remain uh, unsupported as we suggest unsupported at the moment under the downside pressure we suggest that a Russian ruble still has a kind of uh, uh, stronger arguments uh, for uh, further strengthening because from a lot of point of view uh, Russian ruble is all uh, is undervalued at the moment as regarding the euro ruble here lies uh, here we uh, we'd like to pay attention on the underlying uptrend uh, that's located around 72 to 25 any kind of dipping to this area should be used as a buying opportunity probably with the stop below 7150 uh, where lies 71.64 where lies uh, the maize uh, lows and also uh, we'd like uh, to tell you that overall uh, the situation should remain uh, bullish for the uh, for the euro ruble while trading above that uh, uptrend line but any kind of uh, break below this line should uh, intensify the downside pressure in the euro ruble uh, that's why we uh, suggest to uh, to be rather cautious with uh, a long euro ruble position uh, positions on a breaking below 7150. Thank you very much, uh, dear friends, for all of your attention of our channel. Uh, see you tomorrow in the morning.